you look at the size of this human being? Seven feet tall, 355 pounds. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 355 pounds, Commander Aziz. Such an impressive presence and an intimidating glare on the face of Commander Aziz. Oh, this dude, Commander Aziz, he's just ruthless. You know what they say, Cole, all is fair in love and war, but tonight, Aziz has chosen war. Get ready for a new normal. And his opponent from Franklinville, New Jersey, Weighing in at 249 pounds, Joe Gacy. An unsettling R surrounds Gacy. He calls it a safe place. Huh, it feels like anything but a safe place, Michael. has placed himself as the wedge driving the WWE apart. Between the mind games and the attacks, I'd say Gacy knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, looking to dismantle the locker room from within. Well, I can only hope his reign of terror stops tonight. This is a no disqualification match. Anything someone can dream up to do to their opponent is legal. Take the rules and throw them out the window. Well, this allows a superstar to pursue victory by any means necessary. And some experience a state of twisted ecstasy while punishing their adversary. We are witnessing an environment where competitors can embrace their anger and aggressive instincts because it's all legal. <laughs> Glad you're done believing in fairy tales, Saxton. The hero doesn't always win. Sometimes you have to embrace the darkness. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Matt Slam with some attitude. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. What a headbutt. Vicious. What a knockout punch. Oh, man. Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then you before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. And Aziz is now in a demoralizing position. Joe's doing whatever he wants because he can. And he goes for the pin! He kicks out instantly. Energy left in that kick out. This matchup isn't anywhere near over. A big kick to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. A ribbon breaker snapped over with a backdrop suplex. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. That didn't go as Joe pictured. A back punch. Ouch. To the outside. This could get wild. And the ref gets hit with an unintentional shot there. He's heading back to the ring. DDT! Oh, clobbered by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. Take him down. He's looking a little off balance.
with a game ender. Two. And got the win. That is a huge win here tonight. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Here is your winner, Joe Gacy. What a win for him here. He really displayed his prowess in victory. Have all the fun you want, but at the end of the day, this is what it's all about. Winning and making money. In that one. The lethal Lothario, Umberto. A high-flying heartbreaker. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Los Lotharios from Monterey, Mexico. Weighing in at 198 pounds, Umberto. An athlete who is both captivating and handsome. A true smooth operator between the ropes with lethal ability. From out of the shadows, Uncle Howdy is here. A being who seems to dwell in the darkest parts of our minds. Might be a spirit, maybe an alter ego, perhaps an evil twin. The truth is, we just don't know. Looking at the face of Uncle Howdy, it is truly a frightening sight. Just that creepy mask alone. And I shudder to think of the pure evil lingering under that mask. Yeah, you're not the only one, Saxton. These are the ultimate mind games being played by Uncle Howdy. We've seen Uncle Howdy's attacks have devastating consequences, but what happens when he steps inside the ring to actually compete? Well, Byron, we're about to find out, and I've got an ominous feeling it's going to be horrifying. We're live with a Falls Count Anywhere match, a match unlike any other in WWE. You're not gonna see much technicality or many holds. This is just a straight up fight. Get back here, leg lariat. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. Slips out of the way there, what reflexes? Oh man, taking it to the trachea. Oh God. handle no disqualifications has to benefit a certain type of superstar more than others doesn't it Corey get off your high horse Cole and no disqualifications match benefits the superstar who's smarter faster and better using the rules for advantage doesn't make you the villain here what a headbutt. vicious the damage he's taking is starting to pile up 
Humberto isn't being given any space to regroup. Humberto needs to reassert himself back in this match. Taking this to the floor. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Counters that. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Carrillo's showing how much punishment he can withstand before he can his own offense in. And this is gonna be it! Instantly, he has his shoulders up. What a jaw-dropping show of strength this late into the match. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. Oh, the elbow connects. He's just taking a moment to simply remind everyone why he's simply the best. Who's arrived? Things are about to get worse for this superstar. Oh, no disqualification. Down on the windpipe. Oh, there it is! The man of the world! It dropped in! That press! And the piston like right hands! Oh my goodness! The strike it at will. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. We always expect the unexpected in Falls Count Anywhere matches, and that's what we got here, guys. Here is your winner, Uncle Howdy. Wrestle perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Nobody Mina, then Tamina. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Pacific Islands, Tamina. Watching Tamina devour her opponents makes my body hurt. Don't even dare try to side-eye Tamina. She'll make you pay for it. She's held the Tag Team Championship, and she's a force to be reckoned with in the women's division. The long boats have landed. The Vikings are here. And representing the Viking Raiders, Valhalla. Hard to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that.
close count anywhere, match. You have to expect the unexpected, right, Byron? Forget the unexpected, Michael. You have to expect the impossible, the unimaginable at a false count anywhere, match. I don't know about all that, but I know one thing we won't have tonight. Mercy. These superstars will not stop till one of them's carried out of this arena on a stretcher or in a hearse. And by the war of the crowd, that's the way the WWE Universe wants it. Please don't remind me, Corey. And she's giving the crowd a chance to really soak it all in. Oh, Bulldog! One-handed! Oh, my! With a match like this, you really need to open yourself up to the fact that every location is essentially a blank canvas. You aren't bound to the confines of the ring. There's just something to acknowledging that level of freedom that can allow a superstar to do things they usually wouldn't do and get great results from doing it. Each of those bullets seem to get heavier with each blow. Mahala taking the upper hand in a big way. Tamina has to devise a new plan here. Display of offense with that maneuver. Oh, look at this. Slapping them around. That's not it. in that one. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Valhalla! And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. This is going to be fun. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 180 pounds, Reggie. Reggie is just so amazing to watch in the ring. And he's an innovative high flyer. Yeah, but he's a terrible sommelier. Reggie's so excited to compete tonight. 
He's just happy to not be chased for the 24-7 title for one night. Call the local medical facility the human wrecking machine has arrived. Nobody in the ring is safe. And his opponent, from parts unknown, yeah. weighing in at 305 pounds, the human wrecking machine, Zeus! Six foot five, over 300 pounds. Even in a building this big, Zeus is still huge. A one-man car crash. He has crushed many of the biggest competitors in WWE history. The being obsessed with continued domination, terrorizing humanity, that is Zeus to a T. This wrecking machine is here with only one mission, eliminate. When it comes to facing Zeus, he considers no holds barred. Here we finally have a match that can settle the score. No disqualification match, win by kickball or submission, but anything goes in this type of match as well. These Super Souls didn't want the rule book to restrict them. Didn't want anything holding them back. The Grand Hammer! Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Wrench on a head. Paint <laughs> a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics? you'd use to win a no DQ match. Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. Oh, and a stomp right to the back. Anything Reggie is trying is being suppressed. Zeus is proving hard to deal with. Somebody's got to put a stop to this. Adversity? Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Grabs the leg. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Treating the torso to yet another attack. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Here is your winner, the Human Wrecking Machine, Zeus! This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. She was looking at herself in the reflection on top of your head.
Her perfect aim with those long legs make her a very difficult opponent. She's a dancing star, but a main streak a mile long. Mean streak almost as long as her legs. Blair Davenport, the self-proclaimed scourge of the women's division. Yeah, a mix of gothic charisma and cold-hearted fury. From Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. Always looking to make a statement of superiority and viciousness. Exerted her dominance as one of the top women in NXT UK and is now looking to take over all of WWE. Talks a big game about her wickedness, ferociousness, and willingness to do whatever it takes. You're right, and she backs up everything she says as soon as the bell rings. Yeah, a woman with a dark side, but a very bright future. venturing out too far. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Oh, that's disrespectful. From behind, German suplex. Nine. And an overbearing amount of offense against Stacy here. Davenport's doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. Ooh, double axe handle. That offense taking a toll on her. Uh-oh! Suicide dive! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Got a boot in the face. Firing a match like this is when we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything goes. There are no limits here. And it can be chilling to see the lengths someone's willing to go to to destroy another human being. But <laughs> chilling? I mean beautiful. Oh, jeez. Nasty kick to the face. Attacks from the arsenal of Blair. This is where Keebler will be tested. Blair Davenport. Oh, jarring knee delivered. Blair Davenport potentially looking at everyone. Is that what it takes to beat Stacy? Two count. And that's all she wrote. We always expect the unexpected in Falls Count Anywhere matches, and that's what we got here, guys. Here is your winner, Blair Davenport. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.
Well, he's back and better than ever. The driving force behind Nitro beating Raw during the infamous Monday Night Wars. One of the most brilliant minds this industry has ever known. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the NWO. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 195 pounds, Eric Bischoff. At one point, was a fair and balanced executive and commentator. Since joining the NWO, Eric Bischoff has done everything in his power to tip the scales in the favor of the NWO. Bischoff keeps coming back. I hope he fires you. <laughs> Saxon, you're basically chump change to Bischoff. Just unfathomable dangers dwell within Bray Wyatt. And it seems as though Bray has slowly been losing the battle to contain that danger. Yeah, that's a frightening thought for the entire WWE Universe, including Wyatt himself. It's really hard to know what to make of Wyatt. There's a darkness at work here. A darkness that has swallowed Bray Wyatt whole. to the abyss and he liked what he saw. Well, what makes a Falls Count Anywhere match so unique? One of the things people forget is that stamina and creativity are just as important as technique in a Falls Count Anywhere match. No count out or disqualification. So if you can think of it, you can do it. And you'd better have stamina because you're going to be all over the arena withstanding all sorts of attacks from your opponent. That's one of the reasons the WWE Universe loves these matches so much. Their favorite superstar might end up in their lap. 
Wyatt with a debilitating chain of maneuvers. Bray has clearly frozen the opposition with fear. Danger is constantly lurking in a no disqualification match. Interference has to be a concern for these superstars. While it certainly can be a factor, I don't think it should be a concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is getting whipped. And that was a first-hand example of a dirty attack. Back into the ring. Face Buster plants him. He may be in a bad way here. Starting to lose a step or two, but good news is there's plenty of real estate to catch your breath. Ooh, and that surprises Bray. At last, Bischoff keeping that string of offense in check. Prime opportunity now for Bischoff to get some separation and gather himself. And Bischoff is being taken apart here. Every form of offense Bischoff attempts is being neutralized. And you can tell these attacks are disorienting him. Sustained attacks up in that area could cause impaired vision. Are you surprised, Byron? Well, it is no disqualification, but this is going to be an uphill battle for this superstar. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. Oh, my goodness. Buster through the table. I can't watch anymore. Oh, sister of a gal. He's reeling, slowly getting up. in serious danger. Two. It's over. All in a nice work. Well, false count anywhere matches never disappoint, and this one was no exception. Here is your winner, Bray. You're not exaggerating. It was an explosive match from before the bell even rang. Just goes to show that breaking the rules doesn't always pay off. No rules were broken, Saxton, but it was almost worth the risk, if you ask me. I thought they almost had them. Swallow! The buzzer! Thank you.